Hey guys, this is Pipe Stealth. Welcome to a video for Fallout 4. It's um, 2018 right now and it's to get 100 happiness in a settlement. This trophy took me the longest time and it was the last one I needed to get a platinum trophy. I watched a load of YouTube videos but none of them did it for me and eventually I kept on experimenting and I finally figured out the answer. So I thought I'd very quickly share these tips with you in order to get 100 happiness in a settlement. So I'm gonna quickly run through them. The first thing I found out, which no video online covered, is that you need five level three shops and I go for bars notice all of these are bars bars actually give more happiness than any other type of shops such as clothing or clinics so go for the highest level because that produces the highest amount of happiness and assign five settlers to these bars so all of these are assigned some of them are walking around just enjoying the settlement but they're all assigned so that's the first thing build level three bars you need six people in this settlement. So five you've got working on bars, and then you've got one person working on mutt fruit. Mutt fruit is the only food in Fallout that gives you one food per branch. Uh, most foods give you 0.5 per item, whatever it is. So I've got six branches here, and I've got one person that works on all six, and that's enough to feed the entire settlement. Another thing to do in order to build a load of random stuff in your settlement and not run out of resources is to get a trader in your settlement. Now a lot of people make the mistake of making a settler in their settlement a trader. Don't do that. Go to one of your other settlements and click on them and set up a route uh, to the settlement. I've gone for Red Rocket. It's not important. I just like it because it's quite small and manageable. But I just went to the, um, the Commonwealth settlement uh, up there and sent them over here so i've got a trader in here this gives me all the resources i need in order to build everything that i want another tip that's very useful is staying near your settlers so when i was in workshop mode waiting for it to get to 100 happiness i was just standing next to a lot of my settlers uh, for some reason the settlers they love their leader to be near them or next to them so standing here just helps that meter go up a little bit faster uh, if you want to get this extra fast um the food that I built over there you could put it down here and then that way you're also near the person that's collecting food but um, this does it for me just standing next to the settlers and occasionally I did go up to them and just talk to them and ask them how their day was and stuff like that I don't know if that makes a difference but I assume that interacting with your settlers may also help sometimes I was stuck at 98% happiness and I saw the up arrow but nothing was changing uh, what I did there is I just walked up to a bed and uh, just go ahead and sleep for 24 hours or 48 hours at a time and when you come off it just go back over here in workshop mode and just wait for the happiness to go up and that should work nicely a couple of items which are very useful are these two they produce happiness so this one's a pummel horse and this one is a weight bench make sure you've got uh, at least a couple of these in your settlement um, as occasionally when they do come off the bar they do engage in activities such as these and they just also help your settlers remain happy you've also got an item called a slot machine which is inside the resources menu and then vault so uh, I built a few of these so again when they stop working on the bar they can come over here and go on a slot machine spend a little bit of money and frustrate themselves at how much they lose they do actually produce happiness though so that's why I've done that you do need one power for each of these but with my settlement set up you only need three power so what I've done is built one small generator and then I've connected it to all three and that's the only power you do need in this settlement Next up is assigning people to beds indoors. So if you notice on this, I've got a red little pit boy. Um, he is uh, representing that this bed is unassigned. This is my bed. If you look at all the others, they are assigned. People are sleeping in them. And to do this, all you need to do is once you build the bed, walk up to a settler, click X on them uh, for PlayStation, go back to the bed, click X, and that assigns them to that bed. So for some reason they seem happier knowing that they've got their own bed to sleep in it's got to be indoors under good protection so i've built them in here seeing it's got massive space there was a load of junk inside here i've just moved that out of here so that it's not blocking it but this is the best place i found for beds and just have one extra bed unassigned and this can be for you when you need to sleep 24 or 48 hours and then lastly this is something which I noticed also helped a lot. All of these items, just ignore them. That was just me getting the size of the settlement up to the maximum. I don't know whether that's important or not, but bear that in mind in case you might need to. There are a couple other things. So what I've done here is you notice my defense is 201. Um, 
go insane on your defense. There's no real kind of disadvantage of doing that. All you need to do is go to defense. And there is a type of defense here that doesn't require any power. It's this one. And it produces eight defense. Now I've got loads of these scattered around the uh, settlement. And just keep going crazy till your defense goes really, really high. Safe settlers are happy settlers. So this keeps them happy. And then my final tip, I've not done it in my settlement, but I found out that you could have animals in your settlement. So you can have a cat, a dog, or even a synthetic gorilla if you do the evacuation, uh, evacuation order on the institute and get everyone out alive. You get the option of uh, getting synthetic gorillas in your settlement. But having animals in your settlement actually increases the happiness. So if you are really struggling to get from 98 and 99 to that magical 100, just do that. Try and get some um, good animals in your settlement and your settlers will be happy. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to put these tips in the description. Um, I really hope this helps you. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. This is Vibe Stealth. Thank you very much.